In this video, we're going to talk about setting up Google Maps for your site. So the technique that I'm going to show you, it can be applied to all of our themes. Here on my screen, I have the city listing demo from the bridge theme. But if you're using a different theme of ours, that's fine. You can still follow along to the tutorial. So let's get started. So this here is the site that I will be working on for today's tutorial and I've imported the bridge city listing demo. And we can see here that my map is not displaying. When you import demo content, your maps will not display. Sometimes you might see this error message here, and other times you might simply see a blank space where your maps are supposed to display. So in order to enable Google Maps, you will need to generate a Google API key and then enter that key into your WordPress admin panel. So let's go ahead and see how can we generate a Google API key. Here I've navigated to cloud.google.com slash maps platform. We will leave this link under the video description. And here you will want to log into your Google account. Now I'm going to click on get started and here it's asking you to pick a product. So I'm going to click on maps and then click on continue. Now Google is asking you to create a new project. So let's go ahead and create one. I'm just going to call this code and then I'm going to click on next. Now Google is asking you to set up a billing account. As you might know, Google has commercialized their maps. So if you want to use Google Maps on your site, they are charging for those services. If you haven't already set up a billing account with Google, here you can do so. You can click on the create billing account and then follow the instructions on your screen. I've enabled my billing account. And here we have this pop-up window saying enable Google Maps platform. So let's click on next. Let's click on done. Here we are on the overview page. And now we will need to enable some APIs. So I'm going to click on this navigation icon in the upper left corner. And here under APIs and services, I'm going to click on library. I'm going to click on the maps JavaScript API. If you don't see it here, you can enter it in the search box. So let's click on it. And this is where you will want to enable this API. We can see here that my maps JavaScript API is already enabled. If yours isn't, you will see a button here asking you to enable it. So you can go ahead and do that. Now, if you're building a site for your own business and you want to place a Google map somewhere on your page, then this API should be sufficient in order for your Google map to work properly. On the other hand, if you're building a listing website and you want Google maps to appear on the listing pages, then there are several more APIs that you will need to enable. So let's go ahead and enable those additional APIs. Once again, I'm going to navigate to the library and I'm going to choose the places API. So this API is mandatory to enable if you're building a listing website. So let's go ahead and enable it. We've now enabled the places API. So let's go back to the library. I'm going to search for the geolocation API. Here it is. I'm going to go ahead and enable this API as well. There is one more API that I will need to enable and that's the geocoding API. So let's go to the library once again. Let's type in geocoding. Here it is and let's enable it. I've now enabled all the APIs that I need and now I can go ahead and set up quota limits for them. So let's go back to the library. 
Quota limits are set for the APIs individually. So for every API that you want to set a quota limit to, you can do so by finding it in the library and then selecting your API. Let's click on Manage. And here I'm going to click on the Quotas tab. Down here, you can set up your quota limits. This is optional, but this is a good idea to do if you want to restrict your billing amount. So these are the quotas for the Maps JavaScript API. And as I said, if you want to put a restriction on your other APIs, you should go ahead and find them in the library and set up your quota restrictions for each API separately. There is one more setting that I'm going to make before I start using my Google API key. I'm going to click on APIs and services and then credentials. Here we can see the API key that was generated. If you do not see an API key, then you can click on create credentials and then click on API key but I already have an API key here, so I'm going to click on it. On this page, we can set up the key restrictions. Under the section application restrictions, you can enter web addresses that you want to restrict the use of the API key to. This is a good idea to do in order to make sure that your API key is not stolen by a third party and used without your permission. So let's click on HTTP refers. I'm going to click on add an item. And this is where you can enter your website URL. I'm going to go back to the bridge demo for a second and I'm going to copy the address in the URL bar. And let's paste it here. So this is how you want to enter your address. It should start with HTTP omit the www and at the end of your address after the slash you should enter an asterisk so this way all urls that start with this they will be allowed to use your google api key so there is no need to enter your subdomains once you're finished with adding your restrictions you can click on save so after creating your project and enabling the APIs and setting up your restrictions, you're ready to use the API key. So here we can copy the API key and you will want to paste this key into your WordPress admin panel. So let's go back to my site. Here in the WordPress admin panel, I'm going to click on Code Options General. And down here we have a field called Google Maps API key. So let's paste my key here. And I'm going to click on Save Changes. Now, depending on the theme that you're using, the exact location of this API field might be different than to what we're seeing here. For Bridge, this field is located in Code Options General. In your theme, it might be located in the Theme Options contact page. If you're unable to find this field, then please consult your theme's documentation. So if you're building your site for your business, then this step is sufficient. However, if you're building a listing site that uses the WordPress Job Manager plugin, there is one more location where you will need to enter your API key. So here in the admin panel, click on listings settings. And here where it says Google Maps API key, you will also want to paste your key here and then click on save changes. Let's go back to the front end and let's refresh my page. And now that I've entered my API key, we can see that the map is displaying. If your map isn't showing despite entering your API key, then you should check your console for errors. So I'm going to right click, click on inspect. I'm going to click on the console tab. And here in the console, we see an error that contains a link. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this link. And this link should take you to Google documentation that contains information on how to solve this error. 
So if we go back to the console, we can see here that the name of the error is invalid key map error. And when we follow the link in the documentation, we can see here the error along with instructions on how to solve that error. So whenever you have problems with your Google map, simply check your console, follow the link in the console and check what Google documentation says about solving that error. So that brings this video to a wrap. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you would like to be notified about upcoming tutorials, you can subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.